It's Jail with you, YouTube. We back with another video. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so if you can't tell already by the title of the video, and by the way, Rod is talking. He really excited. Um, we're gonna be doing a New Orleans slang yeah. 101. And she always telling me, you can't be talking like that. They don't understand that. Cause I be some, sometimes you do be saying stuff that people be like, what does that mean? So y'all know we're from New Orleans. If you didn't know, now you know we're from New Orleans, born and raised. We just telling y'all like some of the stuff that we say back in New Orleans and we're gonna be explaining the meaning to it and we're gonna also use it in a sentence so you can understand how it's used. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you though. Some of the stuff we say, I don't even know the meaning to it, honestly. And a lot of the stuff we say, we talk to each other very disrespectful. And some of, some, some of the things just be sounds. It don't even have a meaning. It do. Well, some of them have meaning. No, but I'm like, saying you do. Like, you're right. It do be just sounds. Yeah, like, right. But we're going to use it in a sentence for y'all so y'all understand. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Turn on your post notifications. We'll be doing post notification shout outs at the end of every video. So all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and comment done. We're going to do a part two because I know as we do this, some people are going to be like, man, you ain't say this. How you forgot that? I mean, but you know. When, the, when you in the moments like that, we forgot that one. We always say that. Wasn't? Pep talk is my. <laughs> Pep talk is my. Pep talk is my. Just say what it is. We're going to write it across the screen too so that y'all can see how it's spelled. And babe, we probably going to take turns, but most likely he's going to be the one using it in the sentence. What's that? Like I said, what's jam with your YouTube? That's just basically saying, like, what's up? What's good? Uh, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> fuck boy. Fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. You feel what I'm saying? That's what, that's what I be saying. Like, if I say you're a fuck boy, they be like, what you talking about? Nigga, you just a fuck boy. Like, but it's disrespectful though. They say that it's like when you, when you piss them off or it's like you did some dumb shit or it's like... Or it could just mean like you a hoe. You a whole ass nigga. But, like but then it's like when you say you a whole ass nigga, you still gotta explain that to them. Because that's still a slang with you. Oh, you know what man. I'm saying? Like, if I was to hit you, your brother would say some shit like, that's some like fuck, boy fuck boy shit. Boy, like, yeah. you don't hit no female. Right, right. Right, Trey. So, I, I'm gonna I'm explain this one. Trey is something that we say in New Orleans for our little yes, our, well. What females say. Females use this Females that slang. use this word. Describe their, their boo thing, their boyfriend, or somebody that they just talking to. I'll be like, you know, like, that's my little trade or whatever, you know. But the real meaning for trade was made in the prison. And it ain't really, like... It's not flattering, I guess. It's not flattering. But but, but it also could be used like if I'm saying like like oh he really cute like we'll say like oh he trade you know like yeah like that. Email, as they stuff. I don't have no dude saying that it's word. A girl, it's a girl term. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you know, you be like, that, that's my little yeah right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's my girl. That's my know? dude. Whatever. Yeah, my little yeah. I think that was pretty simple, self-explanatory. Funky. You're a flunky, you're a flunky. Like, you just do dumb shit. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It is hard to explain. A flunky is like, it's like. If you a flunky, that means you a whack person. You a whack nigga. You, you lame. Like, you can say something like, 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 you, like, all right, Kiwi a good girl. And if I cheat on her and she leave me, my partner be like, you a you're flunky. flunky. Right, that was stupid. Like, yeah. you know, it could be used many different ways. But pretty much it means stupid, whack, lame, you know, all of that. Right. Woo -de woo. This your favorite. Oh, that woody woo. That's now this one kind of don't even have a meaning. Woody woo is just when you don't want to say much. It's like it's like if I'm trying to explain something to y'all about these words. I be like, yeah, man, you know woody woo. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know woody woo. She came to the house and you know woody woo. Like you yeah. know that we can. She came to the house. We probably did something. You yeah, know woody woo. Whatever. It's, like, like, woody -woo, it's, it's you, almost like a sentence filler. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, you fill in the blank. It's like you know after school, you know woody woo. We gonna go do that woody woo. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's it's cold talk. <laughs> Listening to these words, it's like really, like really, we really say this, <laughs> <laughs> and we really have whole conversations we that we know, know what we're talking exactly about. Like, that's crazy. About. Next one is duck. You're a duck. So if you a duck, duck is kind of similar to flunky. Really? It's really stupid. Like you a duck. You a, you a stupid person. You really stupid. Like duck. That's pretty much what it is. You a duck. If nigga call you a duck, then you should feel some type of way. Duck and flunky is like. It was like first duck was like old school flunky like new school. Yeah. You heard me. I yeah. think that's basic New Orleans yeah, lingo. You heard right? me. 
Everybody said that. And it, it, it don't even really mean like if somebody ever said that, it don't really. They're not asking you a question. Yeah, that's like another way. If we, if somebody say how you doing? Yes, like, our response. This day, is, how you, how you doing? doing? <laughs> like that's what we say. Like that's for real. What we say. If somebody that's said crazy. that. crazy. Like how you doing? How you, how doing? you doing? Everybody said. I, I kid you not. You go to New Orleans and you said this to somebody. Their response is gonna be the exact same. Thing. Now I'm gonna say I'm doing good nope. and you. Uh, how is your days? How you doing? What's good? What's good? What's good with you, babe? You know me, I'm cool now. Your day? What's good is, it's, that's that's like, it's um, kinda like what's I am. common sense on some stuff. Yeah, like what's up, what's going on, you know? Yeah, what's good? That's me. All right, so if I was to be telling somebody like, you know, like, that's me. Like, that's my dude. That's my boyfriend or whatever. Or you could be talking about a car. That's me. Or you could be talking about anything. Just describing like... That's mine, pretty much. And you know, like, uh, you know, I like it. Like we say, we go by Nick and King house, and we bought McDonald's, but we ain't, we ain't break them nothing. It's sitting on the counter. And be like, can I have some? That's me right there. Don't yeah. touch that. Right. <laughs> that's, that's mine. <laughs> the next one, okay, bitch. Oh, we say bitch for everything. I might tell my partner. I'm like, I right, bitch, I like it. I'm gonna fuck with you, bitch. Oh, oh, I See might tell later, my friend like, bitch. Let me tell you what happened. But, but, right, it's a but. <laughs> it's a but. but. If you, if y'all not friends, you cannot use that word. No, because it could be used very disrespectfully, like, like, the cause of problem. It's, it's ways to, to the word. It's like, I right, bitch, I'm gonna I'm holler at you. But if I just walk up to you and I don't know you, and I'm like, what's up, bitch? Like, then you know what's up. Know like, it's like, like it's, it's, he won this round. Like, it's, it's, it's time up. to fight. Yeah. Up. Pretty. Fool. You say this all the time. Fool, fool, I feel like fool is just a, a better way to, for me to call somebody up instead of saying the B word. Yeah, pretty much. All right, fool. I'm going to fuck with your fool. Which brings me to the next one. All right. All right, y'all know. All right, all right, just. It's all, all right. right. <laughs> but just abbreviate. Euro. Euro. You know, that's like. That was old school, too. Like, people used to say that as a greeting. Like, that was like another way to say what's up. Really? People were like, you'll be way down the blind like, You and his Euro. Like <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's a greeting too. Whoa is like Euro. It's like, whoa, what's that like, with yeah, you? what's up? Like, they pretty much go, they go whoa, together. Whoa, what's good with you? Fuck with me. Oh, fuck with me. I love that one. Fuck with me, you know? Like, that could mean a million different When I'm about things. to leave, like, we leave, say we leaving. Our people or something, we be like, fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck with you. i see you later. That's, that's, pretty much, yeah. I'll see you later. But yeah. we just say, fuck with me. Hit me up. So I don't know if this is something that's common in other places, but I mean, hit me up is kind of self-explanatory. Like it just mean like, you know, call me, text me, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, hit me up. Scoop me. That's come get me. You yeah. know, you gonna come school with me tomorrow? You gonna come get me from work? You gonna come school with me so we go to the party? Ain't he. So people, people always tell us we country when you talking and we'll be like, you know, I'm going by my auntie house or whatever. Yeah, I guess your other people say aunt, but we say auntie. Auntie, aunt, same thing. Baby. Well, you know they they love when we say baby. When I when I was down here for Texas, say baby, say baby. I love when you say baby. People be saying it all the time, and I just don't be getting it. Like, but I hate when other people say it. They be like baby. They be stretching it out, like, and <laughs> they like, say we stretch it out. I don't even think we stretch it out though. But when we say the word baby, we could say it like, like you be like baby. Let me tell you something. Like you know, like uh, like you about to get it. Like I'm about yeah. to give it to and you. Like you chest out your child. Like yeah, uh, not just out your child. Girl. You just get your girl like together. A, you know? Right. Like you know, or, or I could just be like, what's up, baby? You know, like as a as a mm -hmm. you know. Oh, but dude trying to shoot like you're like, what's up, baby? Yeah, use it mm -hmm. different ways. You know who that is big when it comes to the Saints, the football team, but. It also could be used for like, like say my partner be like, man, you know, dude was, you know, and I play who that? Yeah, I think it's. It's like, who are you talking about? Right. Who that? Yeah, who is that? La boy, la boy that goes line hand in hand with flunky and all of that stuff. Cause la boy is disrespectful. If nigga call you a la boy, uh, that's like the ultimate disrespect. Like it's it's really harsh when a girl tell a dude that's like. Like, for example, if I'm asking you, like, you know, if I'm trying to talk to a dude and I'm like, let's go to the movies or whatever, and dude will say, just tell me, like, I can't go such and such. I'll be like, you a little boy. Like, you can't do nothing. You a little boy. Man, you feel like you a kid. Like, yeah. you can't do nothing. <laughs> or just simple stuff. Like, she just, oh, he acting like a little boy. Yeah. Because you ain't want to hold her hand in class or something. Oh, he a little boy. Like, damn. Little brother. Oh, little brother. What's slang for slang. brother? 
And I talk to my little brother, I be like, what's that? What's your little brother? But it's not only used to talk to your sibling. It's used to talk to your partners, too. Yeah. And what's partner. Up, like, partner. That's the common word, isn't it? Yeah. I you know, know what a partner is. Partner is friend. Bucking. Okay, so the word bucking means... It's hard to explain. Nah, cause bucking is like when you when you going off on somebody, like yeah. you, you fussing at them. It's like you angry. It's like if I was just screaming and keeping up, like why the why the you know why you did this, why you did that. Though? And I'd be like, you bucking? What you bucking for? Or, 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 or you, you about to fight a girl or a dude or whatever, something like that. You know, you'd be like, like oh she bucking, whatever. Yeah, that's all. Ribbon. So I heard other people say roasting and what would you say the other day? Flame. Come on, what is that? Are you tell me I'm about to flame him. I'm about to put me on fire. Chill out. That don't make no sense, but we but, say ribbon. But when you say ribbon, it's like, what you about to tie my hair? I mean, I understand y'all. It all sounds crazy, but. but that's what we say. Yeah, I'm about to rip you. I'm sneak you. So if niggas tell you I'm about to sneak you, that mean they about to punch you in your face. Yeah. They about to. You know, knock but you out. But y'all, other people probably say I'm about to steal him. Oh, I did hear somebody yeah, say that. That's what like, you're about to kick him. What does that mean? <laughs> but we're not making fun of y'all because I know y'all probably laughing at our stuff too. Hey, G Knights. So G Knights is what we call Air Forces. Or what y'all call. Um, Air Force One. That, or what else the other word is? G Fazos. <laughs> we say G Knights. You sleep. They say you sleep. It's like. You tripping. Yeah, like you, you just got me messed up. Yeah. Okay. For example, I'll be like, um, I want, I want your girl. Oh yeah, like that's not happening. That, you sleep like. Yeah, like, you sleep on that one. Like that, that, that'll never happen. <laughs> like I tell you, you sleep. You say oh, I'ma take her. No, probably you sleep. All right. Pool. Who? Pool. <laughs> So if you say something poo, you just saying something whack. Yeah, it's lame. Man. You don't like it. You don't fuck with it. Like, like we go to the club, man. That been poo. Yeah. Like, ain't it nobody, was whack. Man, ain't no egg ain't jumping. Give me me. Give me me. That mean like if you owe me five dollars, give me me. I need that. <laughs> like don't don't tell me you don't got my money, but you gonna make, get McDonald's. Give me me. Living like that. So if somebody tell you like I'm living like that, or you not living like that, that mean you not really about that. Like you. You're not living like that. You're not about what you say you about. You're not yeah. going to do what you say you're going to do. Living is more of a violent term. It's like, yeah. if I'm going to shoot you and you tell me you're going to shoot me, and I'll be like, you're not living like that. I know you're not going to shoot me. Or if I tell you, or you say you're going to fight me, I'm like, come on, dude. You're not living like that. Yeah. You're you talking, but I'm going to really whip you because you, you know, I'm telling you, you're not living like that. No, you're not living like that. So don't portray that. It's, you know. Or if you get into arguing with somebody and you tell them, like, I'm living, like, you know, like, you know, that means yeah, like, it's about to go down. You know, you, if you fussing with a gang, they better come on, but I'm living like that. That means he might, he might, might take you away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. So it's, that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like that. Like that. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's up. Is that when we say for instance, if we didn't have, if we wanted to go to the club tonight, we have a babysitter, but I found one, and I'd be like, "Baby, it's up, like <laughs> we going, <laughs> it's up, we got some babysitter." Cutthroat. Cutthroat is like. It. Cutthroat is a person that you cannot trust at all. That's 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 pretty much like the most harshest word you could use for somebody that's gonna betray you, somebody yeah. that you can't trust, you can't cutthroat. fuck with them. Like you cutthroat. If you're a cutthroat person, you just you a horrible person. Like you don't you don't have no morals, no respect for yourself, you don't care, like you do whatever. Yeah. Cutthroat person. All right, y'all. So y'all pretty much got the hang of it. Like that was just a few of the terms that we use in New Orleans. Do I have anything else that like y'all heard people say of you from New Orleans and you want us to like say or you you know, just show in another video, just let us know. The post notification shout out today goes to crystal, crystal Deneen. Deneen. so shout out to you thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and supporting us and everything we really appreciate it we love all of our supporters all of our subscribers we're so close to 100k y'all we just need for y'all to keep subscribing we almost there so almost, we almost there, there. if you are new to our channel make sure that you subscribe to our channel turn on your post notifications you know comment if you would like to have a post notification shout out in our next video